Gackle. It's Moose Hoof, the town next door. And the Moose Hoof stick handlers have just beaten the East Gackle cheapskates. Again. Losers! Ah. See you back at home, Susie. Now stay out of trouble. Bye, Dad. Hey, Misha, do you know why that bunch from East Gackle lost? No, why? Because the town's major export is bathroom tissue and they both belong in the toilet! <laughs> hey, what can I tell you, Andy? She's cute! Yeah, well, cute or not, these moose hoofers need to be taught a lesson! <laughs> Starting tomorrow, Moose Hoof's very own senior hypno, West Alberta's greatest hypnotist. He's not that great. He was in East Gackle last year and I pranked him with my mirrored contact lenses. Mind you, if he had been here tonight, we could have hired him to turn our team into winners. Phew! What's that funky smell? <laughs> it's the town's mangy mounted mascot, the Moose Hoof Moose. The Canadian moose, largest member of the deer family. It has a large body with humped shoulders, long legs, a thick muzzle, broad, flattened antlers, and really bad breath. Beats me why they're so proud of this thing. But it does present me with an opportunity to get even for that vicious and hurtful comment about our beloved cheapskates. Let's do it! <laughs> hey! What do you think you're doing? Nothing. Nothing Moose Hoof hasn't had coming for a long, long time, that is. Who do you think you are anyway? For all your pranking needs, contact Andy Larkin, the world's greatest prankster, and I am Danny Pickett, sidekick extraordinaire. <laughs> huh? Mush? Heel? <laughs> World's greatest prankster, eh? He's obviously never heard of my reputation around here. <laughs> That'll teach little Miss Moose Hoof to mess with Andy Larkin. <laughs> I wonder if she's ever caught the Moose Hoof Moose lying down on the job before. <laughs> Pretty funny, but your pranks are playing havoc with my love life. What have you got to say for yourself, Andy? But I didn't do it! Yeah, and I don't like donuts! Mr. E.G. Tired and feathered! This isn't tar. It's Canadian grade A maple syrup. Okay, so it's been maple and feather. Either way, it's got your name all over it, Larkin. But I'm innocent, honest. Then how do you explain that? For all your pranking needs, contact Andy Larkin. Ugh. We know who pulls all the pranks in East Gackle, and for once, we have proof. Clean it up! Hmm. You've got to admit, Andy, that was a pretty good prank Susie pulled, using your card against you. Yeah, but she's awakened a sleeping giant. <laughs> Ugh, revenge will be sweet.
What have you got to say for yourself, Susie? But I didn't do it, Dad! Come on! Every prank and moose hoof over the last five years was pulled by you! I'm getting a little tired of covering up for you. Clean it up. Do you know what time it is? Uh, nine o'clock? No, it's payback time. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Clean it up. She's good. I know, but not as good as Andy Larkin. Huh? Is this any way for a policeman's daughter to act? But I... Not one more word, young lady. Put it back the way it was. Okay, no more of these silly little pranks. You're quitting? No. I'm moving on to my monster prank. Andy Larkin won't know what hit him. Hello? Andy? Yeah? Maybe you should go down to City Hall. What? Who is this? Come on, Danny. Looks like you've met your match, Andy Larkin, the world's second greatest prankster. Love, Susie. Wow. I don't believe it. Not only has she actually kidnapped Mr. E.G. and taken this pranking battle to a whole new level, everyone's gonna blame me unless I can get him back before sunup. I'm beginning to like this girl. What do you think? Great! That painted aluminum really looks like the real McCoy. And it's as light as a feather. This bogus Mr. E.G. is gonna buy us the time we need to get the real one back. But what about the head? That's gonna take something a bit more malleable. Follow me, dude. I hope you know what you're doing. Relax! As long as I have this moose back in its enclosure by Monday morning, no one will be any the wiser. I gotta hand it to Mush. He knows his materials. Paper mache, the prankster's best friend. Oatmeal? Hey, I haven't had oatmeal since I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> hey, a prank's a prank. What do you think? Not bad. Except the expression is, uh, a little different. Yeah, it looks like Mr. E. Scarecrow's evil twin. Well, it's too late to do anything. Let's get this guy down to City Hall. And now, step two of my monster prank. Ugh. Oh, Senor Hypno! I want you to know that I really appreciate you helping me at such short notice. Don't mention it, little girl. I owe Andy Larkin one for that mirrored lens stunt he pulled on me last year. If I ever get my hands on him. Listen to my voice. You are feeling very sleepy. Extremely sleepy. Sleepier than any moose has ever felt before. And you will only awake when someone says, Gesundheit. Well, that should be good enough to fool anybody. I hope. We'll find out soon enough. Here come the rogies. What are you doing now? Ganging up on it? Uh, just paying our respects. <laughs> okay, now for Operation Moose Abduction. The sooner we get this thing out of here, the sooner we can negotiate for Mr. E.G.'s return. Why, huh? 
fight those? Perfect! I knew he'd retaliate and try to steal our moose. Come on! Hold it! Oh, what am I going to do with that girl? Once the moose is in East Gackle, all I have to do is give it its 10 o'clock wake-up call. Gesundheit! At the most embarrassing moment for Andy Larkin, of course. <laughs> You're wicked, Susie! How's it going? Oh, uh, pretty good. What are you doing? Well, nothing. Uh, just taking a spin with the boys. You know, you shouldn't be picking up any hitchhikers. Oh my goodness! How did that get there? Enough with the small talk! Book them already! <laughs> Come quick! It's Mr. E.G. He's possessed! Get in the car, Mrs. Weebles. <laughs> Not that car, Mrs. Weebles. The police car. The rogues are going to discover Mr. E.G. is a fake. We have to get it out of town. Oh, this is perfect. The police will throw the book at Andy. Let's go, Mush. We're terrorizing the neighborhood! I'm, I'm scared. Don't be an idiot! Look! Stand there like a dummy! Go get it! <laughs> I'm coming, Mr. E.G. I'm coming! <laughs> For that! <laughs> Mr. E.G. is gone! Forever! <laughs> How could you do it? <laughs> uh, I thought he could swim. <laughs> Folks, I have some bad news. We've lost our beloved town mascot to the frigid waters of the East Gackle River. <laughs> We lost him. Maybe not. And this will come as no surprise. It's all Andy Lurkin's fault. I've got a real problem here. If I tell him the truth that Mr. E.G. was a fake, he'll want to know where the real one is. And I don't know. It's gone! We've got to find it before someone discovers it's missing from the zoo! Well, I'm afraid you're on your own on that one, Susie. I'm going to be busy for a while. Jezebel! Yeah, hello? Hey, Andy, what's she? I'm under house arrest. Where are you? Moose Hoof. 
Moose Hoof? What are you doing there? I'm on a date. With Misha. How could you consort with the enemy? What can I say? She's a babe. Maybe you won't be in such a tizzy when you hear what I have to tell you. She has a sister? The Moose Hoof Moose, man. It's back at the rink. I saw it. That's impossible. The rogies have it in custody over at the police station. I'm telling you, dude, it's here. Gotta go. Misha's on her way back from the bathroom. I gotta check the station. I only hope Mush hasn't defected to the other side. Love can do strange things to men. Listen. What? I thought I heard something. I heard it this time. Come on. <gasps> All right, why are you following us? I, I, I'm not. I'm going to visit my grandmother. Hmm. Huh. All right. I was hoping you could lead me to the moose. Which one? The moose in East Gackle or the one in Moose Hoof? The one in East Gackle? Oops. So the Moose Hoof Moose is back at the rink. What's with this second moose? Okay, I'll tell you. The moose you kidnapped is a live one. Huh? I'm telling you the truth. I got Senior Hypno to hypnotize it. A hypnotized moose? Pretty good. You gotta tell me where it is. If it's not back in the zoo by Monday morning, I'll be grounded till I'm an old woman. Even till I'm 20, maybe. Okay, but only if you tell me what you did with Mr. East Gackle. Sure, why not? We hid him in a pile of logs at the East Gackle paper plant. <gasps> you mean Mr. E.G. could end up as toilet paper? That I could use him to... Oh no, it's too horrible to contemplate! Maybe it's not too late. Come on! <sighs> hey, do you have a union card? I should never have gone in the water. Great whippering, you big baby! Uh, uh, uh. There's only one thing worse than sneezing, and that's not sneezing. <laughs> Looks like Steve Jr. has a doozy. Oh no! What's wrong? We can't let anyone say Gesundheit. It's the secret word that wakes up the moose. Let's <laughs> Gesundheit. <Bless> you. <laughs> What the? Oh, what are you kids doing here? Bless you again. Thanks, Eddie. But what are you doing here? I thought you were grounded. We came to tell you Mr. E.G.'s back where he belongs at City Hall. Is that a fact? Well, why don't we go and see for ourselves? Ow, 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 you stay here and guard the moose. You got it, Dad. And you stay here and guard Officer Rogi Jr., Danny. Is it fake? I can spot a fake a mile away, you know. Hmm. I'm gonna need a statement from all of you. Come on! Hey! Where's the moose? Two fellow members of the force came and took it. Apparently, it was the Moose Hoof mascot. Oh no! We have to get over to Moose Hoof as quickly as possible! I just don't get it! Typical! Trust! We're better than you, Moose Hoof, to have two mascots! You'd better have an explanation for this young lady. I went to a lot of trouble for you. You! 
I recognize you. Andy Larkin, the menace with the mirrored contact lenses. Do you realize I was trying to lay an egg for over a month? Yeah. <laughs>